Hey guys, this is Mog with Mog's Cast coming back at you this time. We are doing this is episode two uh, here in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is uh, just kind of give you a rerun over what we're doing, what we're planning, um, show you what we have so far, uh, talk about possible goals. Um, I originally was thinking about just uh, doing a post commentary for my Double Zero introduction episode, but meh, I really don't want to have to re-encode all that um, raw video footage. Um, I, I was doing it at the higher quality, it was like going to be like five hours, I really don't want to do that right now. So just doing live commentary, just going to show you where we are um, and what we have. Uh, so starting off here, jumping in to our tracking station, uh, we're going to go check out Ryan Station. If you haven't seen episode zero, this is going to be the um, the first time you see our space station we have in orbit. We're at about a rough 150 um, kilometer, uh, pretty stable orbit. It's 150, I think it's off by maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2 um, kilometers uh, from periapsis to apoapsis. Um, overall, not much. Pretty tight little orbit, um, right along the uh, the equator. I might be off by a 0 0.1, 0.2 degree or so, but who knows? That's it's close enough. It's workable and stable enough. This is Corian Station. Um, it's got a crew on there right now. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen it, you might be in for a little a little surprise. Um, I might have something um, some things for viewers to do in the future to get a little more involved. Uh, that could be based around this a little bit. Um, so let's see. We've got Jeb, Bill, Bob here on the station, and we've got a few more. Looks like Lottery, Kerman, uh, Sidfert, Nilamon, uh, Merzer, Lemwell, Macming, what's this? Kubaka? And Han Kolo? What? Oh my gosh, what's that? That's so cool! Oh wow! No, just playing. Um, I did mess around with my persistent file just a hair, just to rename a couple of my Kerbins, because I, I get a little sick of seeing all these people with the same dang last name. On that note, what I was going to suggest is possibly if we can get, uh, you know, getting started. I don't have any subscribers except for a buddy of mine. Um, or anything like that. Uh, if people start liking the videos, uh, if people want to watch more, get a little more involved, I'm totally thinking about doing something where um, maybe like first 10, 20 subscribers, I'll actually put your avatar name uh, in as one of my crew, um, one of my persistent crew, and uh, do missions with you, take requests, that kind of thing for things you might want me to do uh, in the game here. Um, so let's show you around the station here. Uh, turn on some lights. I tried not to go too overkill with lights, but inevitably that's a little temperamental, especially with like my docked ships uh, throwing off some additional light. Oh, whatever. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So what I've got up here right now is I do have four full fuel tanks here. Um, full orange tanks. Got a lot of fuel. Got a habitation module, got some solar arrays out here um, to get some electricity going. I've got mono propellant, I've got the ladders, I've got struts. This thing's all pretty stable. I built this thing up here in orbit. There are some mod parts, as you, as people who may be familiar with some of the mods out there uh, may see already at this point. I've got things like a cathane setup. I, I uh, forget which these mono tanks here are from. Um, I've got the B9 Aero uh, blah, 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 pack. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. I've got the Nova Punch pack. I'll have links to all this in the full mod list that I have installed. I think it's full uh, mod list I have installed in the About section below. Um, so yeah, what I've got here, I've got my Habitat module. That should support 10 Kerbals, no problem. I've got a GPS satellite on here with the little thing for the map. ISA sat, something like that. ISA map sat mod. Uh, back here, I've actually got another habitat module with a bunch of crew in it. That's where most of my crew is right now. Um, and then a tiny little science module here. This has all the science modules built into this one, and what the plan for this section right here is we're going to be towing this out to the MUN one of these time, one of these episodes, and starting a station out there around the MUN in orbit with this as the core habitation module on it. And it already has all the science stuff, which I didn't put on the original because I was going to build science module. And that's what this is. Little guy right here. It's a single little, it's a mod part, but uh, holds one Kerbal. 
and it has the four different little science modules on it, just so I have them. Uh, I got a couple of tugs, a uh, heavier tug, a uh, light tug, and that's kind of what we're working with right now. So if folks have suggestions for things to do um, with this station or whatnot, um, we're going to be using it as kind of like a staging, uh, refueling station as needed. I'm also going to be, just for um, consistency's sake, going to be launching a few satellites up into orbit here around Kerbin. Uh, doing a GPS satellite, a cathane satellite, even though I probably won't be doing much cathane mining here on Kerbin. Um, it'd be nice to have those all fleshed out, just for consistency's sake. Um, but that's kind of where we're sitting right now, so uh, if you guys like the video, have suggestions, want to comment, by all means, please do uh, subscribe if you like the videos, and we'll keep this thing going. Uh, and also, yes, uh, if you would like, if you are one of the first, uh, for now we'll say 10 subscribers, keep it keep it humble, uh, first 10 subscribers, um, if you'd like, I will put your name or a name of your choice, if it's not too perverse, I'd, li I'd like to keep it a little more you know, wide audience friendly, if uh, you catch my drift. So nothing crazy, but um, that's what we've got. Uh, we will see you next time, and um, 